In entertainment news, Star Wars fans are mourning the loss of an icon. Our sizzling Hollywood host Stephanie Dunlap tells us more. It's a sad story to start out with. Yeah, Star Wars actor Kenny Baker, who played R2-D2 in all the original six Star Wars movies, has passed away. He died on Saturday at 81 years old from a long-term illness. And he actually was not in the last Force Awakens movie because he was already in a wheelchair by that point. But such an iconic actor. And he. the interesting thing is that he was only three foot eight inches tall because he fit perfectly into that R2-D2 costume. And originally he didn't even want the part because he told George Lucas, the director, that he didn't want to be stuck in that costume. But I guess it's a good thing that he took it because it became such an iconic role. Yeah, and I know a lot of celebrities tweeted, um, you know, in honor of him, people that have worked with him throughout the movies. Right, exactly. Oh, I think that, uh, you know, it's a big loss, um, but eight, he died at 81. 81 years old, which is a long time. Yeah. Now, let's kind of turn to some happier news. There was yes. actually some love and entertainment news, right? Yes, there is. So, let's start off with Kevin Hart. Yeah. He got married over the weekend to his longtime girlfriend, who is Aniko Parrish, and they got married in Santa Barbara. And it was a very non traditional wedding that they wanted. They had a merry go round, they had a Ferris wheel, they had a celebrity, um, Ludacris was there, along with other celebrities. His son is eight years old and was his best man. So I think it's really great that they did, you know, not a very cookie cutter wedding, but something that they wanted. And it's their wedding and their day. So I thought that was really great. And I know Kevin Hart calls her his rib. Uh, I follow him on Instagram. And so <laughs> I always, they look so cute together. And it, it was, they've been engaged for something like two years. Yeah. So it was a long engagement leading up to this wonderful day. Right. And this great. was his uh, second marriage. Yes. So. Hopefully this one works out. He seems very happy about it and they seem great together. His ex even wished him well on mm -hmm. Instagram as well. So that's, that turns out. But there's even more love going on in Hollywood. Yes, Juan Pablo, former bachelor, is now in love. At least that's what TMZ is reporting. <laughs> he is arguably the most hated bachelor in bachelor history, maybe worse than Chad from yeah. last season. Um, if you watched the season, you know why. If you didn't, it's because of some of the comments that he made to women. Also so he picked a Nikki, but he wouldn't propose to her or actually say he loved her at the end of the season. Yeah. So um, anyway, he is now dating Os Osmanel Villalobos. She's a TV host in Venezuela, and he says that she gets along great with uh, his daughter, Camila. So um, they've only been together three months now, so we'll see if it works out. But um, it was such a controversial season, so we'll see. Yeah. Well, I saw her. I saw pictures of her. She's a hottie toddy, the, oh, yeah. the, his new girlfriend. So mm -hmm. she looks really good. I really do hope that he treats her well and, and, and this pans out for him. Yeah. So we had a little bit of love also in Hollywood news, a Steph. Little love. A little bit of love. <laughs> now, you can stay up to date with Stephanie's entertainment updates by following the CW Tucson on Facebook and on Twitter.